staples, salmon patties. So my husband and I do enjoy going out to fish. And so we are going to be making salmon patties with wild king salmon caught here in Sitka, Alaska. Um, so I will throw a picture of, of my recipe card up on the screen for you to see. But what you're gonna need for this recipe is some type of salmon. We have made this with halibut before, so it is possible to change it up um, and not juice salmon if that's not your thing. Uh, you're gonna need some green onions, uh, fresh dill. Um, you can always use dried dill. I bought fresh dill at the store today because my dill, it's winter, it's no longer running outside. Um, but dried dill is fine. You're just gonna need to like kind of taper back on how much you put in since it is a very strong herb. We like to use some gluten-free crackers. Um, this is the Good Thins Simply Salt, but we've used the jalapeno ones before. You can use really any variety of cracker that you like. Uh, you're gonna need some mayo, a lemon to juice, and then you're going to need Dijon mustard and an egg. Um, and then to make up the total burgers, my husband's favorite uh, bun is the brioche bun. So pick up a bun that you like, uh, some lettuce, aroma tomato, and then any other toppings that you like on your burgers. The first part of this recipe is kind of broken down into two sections. One is cooking the fish and two is making and prepping your mixture. So the first thing I like to do is prep my mixture so it's ready to go and then we will take care of deboning and cooking the fish. So what you're gonna need is two green onions and one uh, tablespoon of fresh dill. You can always use dried dill. I would just go a little bit light on the dried dill if that's what you're gonna use. I like to chop off just the dried ends of my green onion and then I chop these up really nicely. Doesn't need to be specific. I don't mind if they're a little bit bigger chunks. Let's throw this all in our bowl. Then we're gonna grab our dill. We break off what we think is about a tablespoon. That's probably a little bit much, but I kind of love the flavor of dill, so I always add a little bit extra. And then you're just gonna mince this up nice and fine. Okay, a little bit over a tablespoon of fresh dill. Add that. Now we're going to add the mayo and the lemon juice. So that's about a fourth a cup. And then I need a tablespoon of lemon juice. And usually I do just under one full lemon juice. So we'll slice this in half and grab our juicer. Okay, juice out one half of a lemon. See how much juice that gets you. That's definitely a tablespoon. So I'm gonna add that. Then you're gonna use your Dijon mustard and about a tablespoon of Dijon. That's good. And then you're gonna take one egg, crack that in. Perfect. Mix this all together. And this is what it should look like. To prep the salmon to cook, first we're gonna to need to debone it. Highly recommend getting a little pair of tweezers. You're gonna look for the pin bones right here on the salmon, and then you're gonna kind of slide this under, get a good grip on it, and pull it all the way out. They're pretty long, probably about two inches, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you grab all the pin bones. Okay, so now that we've got all the bones removed, uh, this is a pretty big chunk of salmon, so we're gonna just cut it down the long way so it's a little bit easier to cook. Okay, now you're gonna grab a little bit of paper towel. You're gonna pat dry any of the excess water, fish juice, whatever is on here. And then we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and a salt and pepper. It doesn't need to be seasoned too much because you're gonna add it to this mixture and make it into a patty. Add a little bit of oil to this. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. Now once our pan is warm and ready to cook, then we'll throw these in the cast iron skillet. Okay, so 
So while the salmon is cooking, that'll take a few minutes. We'll keep rotating it on every side until it's cooked all the way through. I like to prep everything so that the burgers are set and ready to go. Let's check on our salmon really quick. Okay, the last thing you need to do to prep your mixture is break down a whole bunch of crackers. Oops. So you're gonna pull your salmon off the burner. You can tell it's done because you can see that it's kind of like a opaque pinkish white. It's cooked all the way through, which is good. And we are going to add that all to this mixture that we prepped. I pulled off all the salmon skin already and I fed it to our dog. She loved it. Break this up a little bit with our fork. Smash up the salmon. Mix it really well with the mixture. I can smell the dill and it smells really good. Okay, that looks good. And now we are going to add our crackers, which will absorb some of the liquid and make it so that we can make these into patties. I'm gonna add about three fourths of it, mix it all, see how it's going, and then make sure that we need to add the rest. Get ready to check to see if it's ready to patty. It's definitely coming together. I think a little bit more of the crackers will be good. Mix that up one more time before we get going on making these patties. That looks pretty good. It's definitely absorbed all the liquid. So you're gonna reach in there, patty it up, pack it nice and firm. Depending on the piece of salmon that you choose, it might make four, it might make five patties. For this recipe, I would say on average, it probably makes four. Okay, so now that our uh, pan is ready to go, we can add these patties. So our salmon patties are almost done on the stove, so let's get our sandwiches prepped. A Little bit of mayo. I like Mama Lil's on mine. Adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit of spice. Okay. Melted cheese on a salmon patty. Okay, the last step is obviously to try it, make sure it's good. <laughs> it's hot, but it's good. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.